So just arrived at the Kitchener. I'm on my way up and let's see, I'm really excited. This is my second time just to take a look again with the, with the pieces. So I hope I'm not too late. So this lady just told me I can't bring my phone so this might be my last video so I'm about to go in so we'll see after I go in and then check you guys out after see ya So just finished with the tour so I'm gonna share with you guys what happened what's in there what's new one I try my best because there's no, um, there's no photos or videos allowed there so um, yeah let's get started because there's quite interesting pieces there that I'd like to share with you things that I thought on the website are not that greatly photographed or didn't emphasize some parts so this is why I wanted to share with you what I think of the pieces uh, but for before going there I think I need my coffee and my gelato so uh, first things first the Exum gallery it's quite new very new very pleased that there is finally a gallery here in Singapore I think a lot of collectors have been waiting for that uh, since Singapore is home of Exum and now there is it's actually in the Kitchener complex the top floor I think at this point only you can access it by by lift and you right away at that event you right away greeted by the registration uh, because you need to register for this event so it's a very exclusive one it's before the pub they open to the public and that's why there's no phone so in the registration that's the last time you will be using your phone there so I at least I took some photos with the beautiful ladies there um, <laughs> that kind of stuff but yeah and then they will give they will put your phone in an envelope and they give you some of the uh, these envelopes including this map which I will be showing you where are some of the pieces that I kind of I really like and I was also surprised and they're especially the new ones the crazy new ones so let's get started so uh, let's start with the map because this is yeah the one that they would give you um, I'm not sure how accurate is the map but yeah maybe I just tell you guys what's I would say where the for me the highlights for me are in this map so let's get started um, so once you come in uh, it's more or less the registration area and then you have this what they call as lunch pad actually right now there's more or less I, I think Marvel only there I cannot remember 100% I think there were some uh, DC but more or less there's a lot of Marvel What's in there also was uh, War Tank, Hawk Buster, and Maestro in the center. That is quite awesome. So this is actually the number two, the lunch pad, and and I think in the side of it, there's the side wall, very nicely lit uh, shelves. Is Magneto, so it's there. The new Magneto is awesome. I ordered it, and I think the number three, which is the live at XM. This is uh, at least when we went there Friday. Alex Thomas actually invited us in. He let me talk very quickly. <laughs> and yeah, the, 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 that studio is quite awesome. Uh, it has all the equipment. I think they would use that for unboxing, reviews, and podcasts. All that stuff is there. Really awesome. Beside that, there's a wall of DC, I think, metal. I'm very, like, like I was caught with the, with the Dawnbreaker. That one looks awesome. Um, after this area, there's actually an area where there's some some pieces not so new. I think it's with there where there's Courage, uh, Wonder Woman, and also the the Batman Sanity. It's also there where I the first I've seen the the Batman uh, White Knight. It looks awesome. I was really surprised. It it, it I I wasn't at first a fan of it. I know the bike is really awesome, but I, I realized the Batman is as awesome as the bike. There also, there, the Carnage was there, and you move forward, um, there's the X-Men line, the legacy pieces from XM, other pieces also from, um, uh, I think the different universes, the different IPs, like Predator, Magic, Alien, all those stuff. Uh, it's somewhere there, 6, 5, and 7. Samurai line is actually number 8. Um, I think it is number eight. Yeah, number eight. 
and the transformers is number nine so it's somehow the, the last part of this uh let's say hallway and then after that one there is this like one six scales dc and also the sinister six somewhere there 11 and 10 so they're there and there is also a, a like more or less like a merchandise area from xm so that is somewhere 13 and also the godzilla and uh, this um uh ultraman play um pieces they're in number 12 and the last part is the the money area <laughs> the cashier where you ordered all the fun was there when we ordered last friday really awesome and number 16 is where i get my gelato and coffee uh that which is really good um and the number 17 is actually where the some goodies are like like this one's pretty awesome uh so you get it from there when you you have this voucher for the goodie stuff and yeah so this is the map pretty awesome so if you are in singapore try to visit it, it i think it will be publicly open next week I didn't ask when exactly but I think next weekend if you go next weekend I will be going next weekend to give you guys a proper collection tour so stay tuned for that as for the new pieces let's start with the one that I pre-ordered which is the Medito the design is somehow like it's been opened there's like a sentinel it's been opened and Magneto is in there but what I love is like he's somehow like walking uh, it, it has a very nice uh, effect because it has this, I think he's stepping on a plate or something and he's walking. Uh, that one, the design is pretty good. The colors are quite good. Maybe because it's nicely lit there as well. Um, but my, I would say the one that I, re I was really impressed was when he was like walking on the, on the plate. Like there's metal plates and then he's walking on top of that. That one is impressive. I really love that effect and uh i think he's also at, at least the, i for sure there will be switch out at that pose he was holding like uh like some part of uh the sentinel i think so but it looks good i do have one thing that i feel like the the piece is quite small maybe because it's up there and i, I tried to put in my hand just to get the scale it seems to be okay but if i just look at it it looks smaller but we'll see, I really couldn't tell at that point, but it absolutely looks good. The centerpiece is the Maestro. I'm not sure if it's Maestro on the throne, but Maestro is crazy big. The Hulkbuster, I think it's, Hulkbuster was also there. It, it looks puny <laughs> against the Maestro. I think it twice the Hulkbuster, it's one and a half of the war tank. It's just huge. So version A includes the the entire thing, Maestro, and he where he's sitting, and it's a turntable. It's a Sentinel head, pretty awesome. It also has some lighter features. The version B, which is the exclusive one, where it has he has all these trophies in in the side, pretty good. Um, I don't think I'd be needing that one if I am going to buy. I don't think I need that. But if you are into those kind of stuff, it has all the different characters from Loki, Doctor Doom, Magneto, um, Cerebro, um, Thor's helmet, Iron Man, um, and the different characters. Uh, even Silver Surfer's board is there. Namor's um, trident is there. There's a lot. Um, the the cloak of levitation from Doctor Strange is also there. Like there's a lot in there, like really crazy. So that's a version B, which is also the exclusive, and it's huge. Like it's, I think it, it's bigger than this table that I'm using now. Like it's huge, and it he looks very, I don't know, like very, like like really maestro from the comics where it's very he's very intimidating. I think the the second day, March 19, I also went there, went again to really look at the pieces. Alex actually changed, Alex Thomas actually changed the hands, he said, I'll show you, let's change the hands. He gave me the, the hand where it's holding um, Thanos' gauntlet, the Infinity Gauntlet, and it was this big, it was like the entire arm. It's, I think, at some point it's bigger than my, my hand, my arm here, and it was quite heavy, crazy, and the, the, I, for me, the takeaway from that one was the weathering. He doesn't look like you know the 
the whole transformation i always find it very clean but this one he's like he, you know he's been through like a lot of wars and a lot of opponents that thing is just like a beautiful centerpiece so another piece what that was also there in as a centerpiece was the war tank that was the first time i've seen it in person um you've already seen it uh, in the pictures but having it in person it's huge like it's huge uh, it has a, a lot of details um i mean i'm not a fan of uh, war machine but this thing if you're a fan of war machine iron man's like it's crazy it has a lot of details um i i at least when i came they didn't turn on the lights but i came when they have change the they put in the uh, war machine inside Woo, that looks awesome um yeah it, that that thing is beast like beast i think it, it's placed near the uh, the hook buster the hook buster <laughs> looks very small and again as what everyone was always i don't know Joe, i don't know it's complaining but everyone was requesting to have just the war machine that one is very good that one is really good carnage was also there unfortunately i i find it that i think carnage was placed somewhere in the map like number four or somewhere there um i kind of feel pity of carnage it does have a good sculpt i, I find there's a, the symbiote there is quite good uh, i i find it a bit darker in color but that's the thing I think they placed it in a darker corner um, where you cannot appreciate right away because the, I think the carnage, the, the paint job is quite dark. So without the like a really proper lighting, it looks dark. Um, it has somehow like uh, I don't know like uh, like he's doing like this pose, and uh, I mean it's good. Um, I, again, I just find it a bit dark. The details are good. I like the symbiotes the, the, from the back. That one is quite awesome. I think it's based from the Absolute Carnage um, from the latest comics. Uh, it, it looks good. Where there, there is this like bullseye here <laughs> in his head. That one. So another piece that I was totally blown away was the White Knight. That one is awesome. The bike has a lot of details. I think most of us have already seen in the photos. But what was not really emphasized in the photos was actually the fact that that there is texture in the suit itself. So I think at least I didn't notice that in the photos. Maybe I didn't look clearly or closer. But the details on that, the the texture is very fine. I like. I always like that uh, kind of texture because it has the same as the Superman Prime one that I have. Th that one is pretty awesome. Uh, that I would say also a very good piece as a centerpiece. Unfortunately, I don't have any space, so I didn't order that one also. But I think that that piece is really good. So when I arrived in the samurai line, the very first thing I looked for was Red Hood. That thing is amazing, very beautiful. I love the details, the color combination is brilliant. I just like wow uh, that was I would say a piece that I also really want that I can really get it I can really put it in the collection unfortunately I don't collect in the samurai line uh, so I ended up not getting it but that thing is just awesome the details are very good the, the futuristic armor that he has at the same time still has that um, really red hood feel or red hood look uh, amazing very beautiful and then i think at um friday they placed the the one where it has that like samurai look with like a pointy nose that kind of japanese look it has that and in, i think in saturday they placed in like the mask red hood which is very be beautiful details very nice accent lines amazing after all of this there's also like i said uh, a side where there's this legacy pieces there's the transport transformer pieces and there's the i think the new pieces also from dc the the batman dark knight it was there it's quite big he, he looks very huge i wasn't really a fan of the pose though so he's like doing like this so he's kind of big 
Um, I think I, I prefer because I've always thought of the Dark Knight to be at least that version to be like more brooding, like he's big and then he doesn't move that fast, something like that. Uh, but more like a brawler kind of stuff, and I love that. Um, so I wasn't too fun with the with the pose, but the details on that one is pretty good. I love the 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 physique. They made it really him very big. Then there's also one six scale uh, version of it I think the 1-6 scale might look very good uh, I think so so there you go that is my blind XM gallery tour sorry there's no vote uh, photos or videos hopefully by next week I can go back when it's really publicly open and I give you a proper uh, gallery tour some photos I hope I'm allowed to really take photos there I, I really want to take photos of the pieces have a nice photo so do you guys you can really see properly the details so i hope i can do that next week also and yeah maybe give you like i said a proper uh, gallery tour so i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it's informative at least uh and if you are in singapore and you like pop culture just go there and if you like coffee also go there there's a very nice coffee shop there the coffee is quite good i think my second day i couldn't get coffee because the place was packed so I, because I guess it's Saturday so I was just getting my gelato so that was awesome either way so again I hope you like it and if you do click the thumbs up and help me share with everyone and as always subscribe to my channel the engine space so that you'll help my channel grow and see you in the next video